Hey, Bessie, come in here. We got these people here. Come on, they're at our door. Oh, what a day. I've been missing my ma and my pa. You know, I've been having to live with that Dr. Hinkson and my Bessie. You know, sometimes that just makes me ha sad. I'm just getting so old. Well, I had to drag out Ma and Pa's stuff because I was just missing them something fierce. You know, I was thinking about that day, that day in 1863. Wow, what a day. You know, I remember that night before my Pa, he was in the other room. He was talking. He was talking to another farmer. That farmer, he said there was going to be somebody riding into town. That person, he was going to ride into town, and he was going to help us take back independence. You see, there were Union soldiers all around my house. Out there in my pa's cornfield, it was filled with Union soldiers. Wow, it sure was. And Quantrill... They said he was going to help us take it back. So I was so excited that night. I could hardly sleep. And when that first sun came up, wow, I was looking. I was looking for him. Now, we lived there on Maple Street, you know, close to that intersection of Pleasant Street. And that's where they said it was going to happen. I saw him coming and coming. A man on a horse. And all of a sudden there were a whole bunch of men on the horse. I was watching from my upstairs bedroom window. <gasps> wow. They came closer and closer. All of a sudden I heard a shot. And a man fell. I think I must have seen the first man die in that battle of independence. Well, I was kind of excited that we were taking over. I was kind of sad because I thought that man, he might just be dead. Those bullets, they were whizzing in and around in my bedroom. And Paul came up those stairs and he said, Flisky, Flisky, get down, get down. But I was pretty excited. I wanted to see that action. I wanted to see what was going on. Paul said, Flisky, get down. I told you to get down. So we got down and we snuck down the steps as low as we could. We didn't want him to see us. We got down there, and Ma was down there with my little brother, Johnny. He was about one. Ma, Ma said, get down, Johnny. Johnny wouldn't get down, so she just laid on top of him. Paul said, you stay down, Flisky. Those bullets are flying everywhere. I told you to stay down. So we stayed down. Paul kind of watched out for us, and it went on and off. For a long time. It seems like a really long time. Well, finally the battle ended. And it was quiet. And I said, Paul, Paul. I just got to go upstairs and see out my bedroom window. Finally, Paul gave me permission to do that. So I went upstairs. And where I'd seen Paul's nice cornfield. Now. Now it was all bloody. There were men. Men laying everywhere. Some were dead. Some were wounded. Some were helping others. Ma and I, being the good Christian women we are, we took our bucket of water and we went and gave those men a drink. We tried our best to help those men. Well, I'm pretty sad about that time. You know, the uh, control and the Confederates, they did take back over independence for a while. And I hope someday, I hope 150 years from now, somebody's telling my story so that people won't fight each other like we did in that Civil War. Hey, Bessie, get in here. These people are here waiting at the door. My carbuncle, it is hurting. You know, I'm really afraid that Bessie and Dr. Hinkson, they're going to put me in that bail mansion. Oh, it's not a mansion anymore. Sorry about that. It's a sanitarium. That's even worse. I forgot. It's the sanitarium. They're going to put me there. Oh, wow. They did. And now it's October the 7th, 1942. I died in the Vale Sanitarium.